to our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, as we do each and every Monday. And don't forget, folks, Steve has an outstanding show here every trading day, 1 to 2 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, Mastering Probability. Now, it's very easy to get Mastering Probability, folks. Come over to our website at TFNN. You hit newsletters. You're going to see Mastering Probability on the right-hand side. You just hit subscribe. You can get Mastering Probability for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is the savings of $199 at 22%. And you can get it for one year for $11.95, which is the savings of $593 at 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you come over, check it out. Steve, get his whole system on there. Great newsletter each and every day. Steve Rhodes, what's going on? Well, just kind of drying out from that gully washer that we had down here over the weekend. We had about 24 hours of straight rain, sometimes a little drizzle, but it never really let up. And then during the evening hours, I don't know if you guys got it or, or got that we same didn't. storm. If it, That's it, what was you did. We missed the bullet. And when I was reading the next day, I realized that, yeah, you got swamped, man. That was pretty <laughs> intense. Yeah. It, it, it was, you know, and, and the unfortunate thing is we had identified a small little roof leak okay. um, about, about a week before and called the roofer and he's like, yeah, I'll get out there, get out there. Didn't get out here. And now, now we know for, we, we were pretty certain there was a roof leak, you know, just based upon a spot on the ceiling. Now you know. <laughs> yeah. Now we know for sure. We were, when we woke up, when we woke up uh, Saturday uh, morning, we were like, oh, Oh my God! You know, in, in the middle of a rainstorm, what are you going to do? No, right? so, totally, totally. So dry it up. But hey, not not a really a bad weekend to have a gully washer with all the sports uh, that were on. Yeah. Uh, you know, between the U.S. Women's uh, uh, Open uh, tournament, the Memorial Tournament at uh, Jack's Place up in Ohio, and then of course we had some nice hockey games. And yesterday was a little bit of a nail biter for the folks in Tampa up no, until totally. that and last the, forty five seconds and then the, or so. The right? Celtics got smoked, man. That Stefan, is that his name? <laughs> he just, he's a mind blower, oh. man. That guy, oh, like, hey. he's so comfortable. If you ever seen, if you haven't seen Steph Curry, folks, he's so comfortable. It's like he's doing nothing. He just puts them up like that. It's like, oh my God. Hey, yeah, I, I, I want to talk I, to you about, I don't mean to do uh, that memorial, yeah. right? It's amazing how many more young golfers there are, right? Oh, just tons of, tons of, you yeah. know, what, what's really great is uh, first, uh, well, first, just uh, young kids right. are learning to play the game of golf uh, at, at very early stages. And then you've got, uh, you know, the high schools, uh, I have most high schools have golf programs. I mean, that's where my son yeah. really learned. He, he, he was a range rat. Okay. Uh, you know, because when, you know, when you go, when you're from high school. That's what you have the to be, right? That's the reality. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You, you know, and you yeah. just learn to hit all these shots. I, I wish I had had just that. Just like at, we at were hockey stage. rats, rink rats. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Hey, hey, you know, speaking of a hockey rat, you'll, you'll appreciate this. He, and then my son played uh, ice hockey. And and as you know, in, in the game of hockey, the guys that are in front of the net, you know, they're sitting there Oof. actually trying to, you know, deflect that puck. Right. You know, it's coming at 87 to 90 miles or 95 miles an hour at them. Um, and uh, so what I used to do for my son is, you know, those. Uh, pitching machines. Yeah, you, you've seen. Oh my right. God. So I had a pitching machine, and and I would have him. Uh, you know, we would we would have the distance from the dot uh, in other spots, okay. and and we would fire the ball. Now they were they were kind of uh, you know foam type balls out there. Yeah, but we would fire them, and that's how he perfected his hand eye coordination out there. Wow. Um, but watching these guys, you know, you you've watched these guys wow. get in front of those pucks. It right? is right. Amazing. It's insane, isn't it? It is. I, it's, you know what's amazing to me? And folks, you know, you know, we grew up with Bobby Orr. And yes. listen, all those hockey players were great, but I have a feeling that the average hockey player now was as good as Bobby Orr and Derek Sanderson, it almost seems. I mean, you know what I mean? It's yes. like... Yeah, yeah. But it, the difference, I think the difference today, first you got the speed aspect of the game, right? Yeah. You've got the two line passes that they've been right. able to perfect. Um, so it's it's a different game. But but when you get to this time of the season, especially in the early games, it's not so different because it's pretty physical. It right? is. These, these guys are, are, and these are big boys. They are, on the man. Ice, right? Uh, yeah. Big boys with big muscles. Checking you into boards that yeah you know, they have a little bit of, of 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 movement but not much. No, I'm with you. So uh, that was great. So tomorrow night, tomorrow night, looking forward to a, a good game. Hey, it's from a market standpoint. A uh, decision 2022. The midterms are 22 weeks away from tomorrow. And those 22 really? weeks. Really? That's good. it. Um, wow. Yeah. 
I mean, 22 weeks might sound like a lot, but it's going to be here right. before we know it. So I thought we could spend just a little time take a look at cool. the historical seasonal cycles. Here is the historical seasonal cycle for the S&P 500, focused specifically on just midterms over the last 72 years. Now, as you take a look at this chart here, the red line, uh, the vertical line shows us where we're at today. And, you know, listening to you saying, hey, be careful out there, have your stops in place. And certainly this seasonal cycle, if you're long, would, would absolutely support that uh, decision here. And this suggests that we should move lower into the uh, end of June, uh, late part of June, then maybe we get a little bit of a rally into uh, a little bit of rally, and then a final move lower into the October time frame. So that's the S&P. This is the S&P annual seasonal cycle. The S&P annual seasonal cycle says, hey, we top about right now and then move lower into about the uh, June 27 time frame. Let's go from the S&P to the Dow. Here's the Dow midterm seasonal cycle. Looks very similar to the S&P, although the Dow seasonal cycle says we don't really top for a couple of days, but that we do top, and then we see a move lower into June, and then a nice bounce, and then finally move lower into October. And it's a, if we take a look at their annual seasonal cycle over 125 years, and by the way, this midterm seasonal cycle is also over a 125-year period of, okay. of time out there. So this here also shows us likely moving lower into June. So everything is supporting... That 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 caution, um, you know, that that you've given to all the listeners and viewers out there, uh, as you also pointed out, markets can do whatever they want. But it's good to understand that cycle pattern. Here's the NDX 100 in its annual seasonal cycle over the last uh, 26 years supports headed lower. This is the real dangerous one, right? Because we know the NDX 100 has really gotten hit over the last uh, really since November. Yes. And it doesn't get any better. Right. If 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 the <coughs> Nasdaq is going to be the leader out here, um, it needs a real the cheerleaders don't show up until the, the early part of October out here. So this is the most ominous chart that we can take a look at uh, with regard to us potentially moving lower. And now there's bounces along the way for. Yeah, you, you can see definitely on all those charts sure. that, you, you know, that you had, Steve, is that. There's, you know, there's a downtrend there. I mean, and now we are, oh. we, we know we're in a downtrend. It doesn't mean it can't turn, folks, okay? But the downtrend, is, and you start looking at those charts, and it's like, okay, man. And, and Yes, yeah. absolutely. And, 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 the, and the idea that we could, we could see a bottom, uh, when, when the NDX 100, for, for, well, it formed a Gartley buy pattern. I know that you're going to cover that during your workshop out here. So this formed a Gartley buy pattern uh, at the end of the week, May 27th. And that so far has led to, on Friday, that led to a test of resistance. So one of the tools I use for support or resistance are... The gremlins are Real grabbing. key resistance level, 12,973. So the cool thing is you and I, everybody listening, if we see a close above 12,973, that tells us that we've got a, a move higher. Not that we're not going to see that move lower, but to expect a move higher. So I went back and took a look at the 2007 bear market. This is a weekly chart, and it's hard. This is the first Gartley buy pattern on a weekly basis that we've had since 2009. Well, if you step back and really think about it, that's logical. You're really not going to get weekly Gartley buy patterns until you're in a bear market. And we yeah, go back and, and take and, a look at 2007. And, and we also went up straight up from 2009 to 2021. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> you got to love absolutely. it. So got to be careful out there, folks. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see Master and Prob newsletters, Master and Prob video right in the right-hand side. Bang! Hit that, baby. Steve, have a great Thanks, one. Tom. Safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. You too, Tom. Take care.